Okay, I decided to make some uh, DIY drum triggers, and this just follows suit with, um, there's a lot of tutorials on how to make these things real cheap, and they're actually real cheap. I think I got 15 of these um, piezo um, transducers for like 15 or 16 bucks, shipped on Amazon Prime, a little more than what you pay if you waited for them to be sent overseas, but I just got them. Um, wired them up, they're just, this is an old guitar cable cut in half that I don't use anymore, so I just cut it. And then I soldered it and heat shrink the connection so that the hot's going to tip and the ground's going to shield. And then these pads are really cool. I was going to get foam and I was over at um, the home store, the home uh, where you buy lumber and stuff. And they have these, um, they're coaster sliders, they're felt sliders. And so they actually... They've got a good touch, like a drum head. Um, they've got a good response. So, um, so anyways, I got these, and I got a piece of sheet metal, and I cut it out, you know, sort of whatever. That's going to be the drum head side. Took the epoxy and glued the um, piezo to it. And then the only foam I have is some leftover um, of this stuff. And since it's not solid, I put two together like that and glued it with um, with a uh, spray adhesive and then what I'll end up doing is uh, probably this way spray adhesive that on there like that and then when I flip it over that will be my drum head right there so it's got um, and then I can glue this onto a piece of wood or and put it on a rack or do whatever I'm going to do I haven't figured that out yet but um, at least for the assembly and the trigger itself it's basically done it's pretty cheap I probably spent I could probably make if I bought another pack of these felt I could probably make eight of them for under 50 bucks maybe 40 bucks so good way to go